Hey guys, welcome to Isaiah's Reviews, and today we'll be reviewing a gaming chair. This is the Van Bow gaming chair here. It's a race racing seat looking gaming chair. You know, those are pretty popular. This is their take on that. This is the Hill Gen 9015 in Mysterious Black. They do offer three total colors. One's natural gray, and let's see, the other one is wisdom blue. I'll leave a link to their page on this. This is direct from them. Uh, it's got lumbar support, uh, all the extra good padding that we all love in a seat. This is premium material, is what they say. So we're about to open this, put this thing together and see how premium it is and how the fit and finish. And the cool thing is this will be a continuous active thread of information down in the comments section. So if I ever have any issues out of this, I'm going to use this as a daily driver from now until it fails, probably. So I'll leave comments years down the road if you're interested. Just so you know some specs before we get into this, you get a one-year warranty, free return for 30 days, 90 to 155 degree adjustable backrest, so you can sleep in this if you choose to, 360 degree swivel rotation. You get a giant lumbar cushion, which we'll get into. Premium PU leather. PU works well with people that are five foot eight inches in height, all the way up to six foot one inches. So that's your recommended height. Linkage armrest, integrated frame, and a heavy duty base. And I will say heavy is a good word because I had to bring this all the way up here on my back. Easy breezy. Don't go too deep. Whoa. Then you get sewn heel gen gaming right into that. That's what you're greeted with. Whoa. It's pretty snazzy. Right away you're greeted with a pretty nice. Look at this. This is the closest we'll get to look at this. Okay, together. So heel gen threaded stitched into the headrest cool move for their advertising needs on the back get a cool vent here this is cool fabric material in there probably can't see that too well but uh that is nice to give you a whoosh of air right through there so this backrest is made of premium material cool ta-da here's the seat it feels comfy but the coolest thing I noticed, which I didn't know about this in advance, the underneath the seat part comes out here. And this folds out. What's going on? What's going on with this guy? What does that do? I don't know, but we're gonna find out. And this does feel just as premium as the other things. I, mean, I love this material here. It is really super soft and airy. They went with a good material for the stuff that's not physically touching you to allow for instant melt into the seat comfort because it allows the air to exhale out of this and you're actually getting the resistance of the cushion. So good job. This, of course, is the lumbar pillow. What is happening here? Do I not read anything that gets sent to me or something? But this looks like a 3.5 jack coming out of a pillow with an on off button and a mode. Or I think this might be a power port so does this does this heat up does the lumbar support heat up it looks like it might what is happening here are the two armrests here um, this is pretty neat this is one piece that folds out to bolt in and I guess you can do some things with this one when it's on there I don't know but uh, this is a very solid construction on the arms and the pads are uh, pretty nice and comfy. This is turning out to be a beast of a chair. I'm kind of surprised. I've owned a lot of office chairs in my time. This one seems to be the most complicated to manufacture, I guess. So should be the most expensive one I've probably owned before. Here is the five wheel base. Uh, it's very solid. This plastic that's throughout this thing. Uh, as far as the front, some of the framing goes, is super strong plastic. Uh, this is no different. Super thick gauge of plastic. And inside a small box, within the big box, what is a USB adapter thing for that lumbar support? So it may heat up. I didn't feel anything mechanical inside of it. It didn't feel heavy, heavy enough to have a, 
vibrator inside, but uh, it could. But this is USB, which is slick on their part. You'll be around a computer, so why have an adapter to go into the wall? When you can have a USB and go right into your computer. So also, they gave you a pair of gloves that you can use in the yard. You get contact information to the company and instruction manual for model 9015-3. We love to see this, don't we? Small parts, uh, not that many. So that's cool. There's like uh, four, let's see, eight. I don't know, eight, I don't know. We'll say 20 bolts or something like that. And the thing to put it together with. So that's a great addition because I didn't bring any tools with me, so. For the wheels, the wheels look nice and sturdy and should navigate over your carpet from the clearance of the wheel to anything else that exists on the wheel hub itself. So you do have that much depth of going into the carpet before it might start dragging on itself or something like that. So you got that much give, I, I think. So you're good with carpet. And these three hunking parts here. This piece of metal here that goes somewhere between the seat and the backrest, if I had to guess, or underneath, I'm not sure. This, of course, goes underneath because this is what you're going to use to lift and tilt and all that good stuff. So it probably goes under your seat. And then here's a little actuator thing that kind of that you sit on, helps raise up and down, something like that. But I'm going to put all this stuff together. If I run into any issues, you'll be the first one that I tell about it. Well, here we are. We put it together and it took about 15 minutes to do. This is a pretty comfy chair. You get basic controls. You get up, down here, and up. And then you get lock. Put this in unlock and you can kind of go back, which they don't recommend going this far back because it's practically flat and you may become unbalanced. And here is the footrest here, which is comfortable when you get it way back to this point. Now we're in comfort, I suppose. And this is when you would use that uh, leg extension. And this is quite comfy. You could take a nap in this without a doubt. Like I could so nap just like this right now. But once you get it set correctly, you just lower, lower one of the levers down and it locks it into place. So it's not moving. Flip this towards you. Put that out of the way. And it doesn't even hit the back of my legs whenever I like to put my legs here. A little bit, but nothing uncomfortable. Doesn't make any noise you're wondering what the lumbar does, right? It actually vibrates. Feels like about four different settings. Low, medium, high, and then like pulsating. So it is a massager. And I don't think it heats up, it might, but it does vibrate. It feels pretty good on my lower back. Nothing I'm gonna accidentally turn on during a live stream or something like that, or an edit, because it might sound like you uh, go to the bathroom. But if you don't want it, you simply just unplug it like so, and the cable and everything goes down in there and it's really not visible, so it's not in the way. Overall though, this is a pretty nice chair for the money, I think you do get uh, your money's worth for it, without a doubt. And if anything happens to the threading or anything goofy like that, I'll make sure to post about that in YouTube. But of course, we all hope that nothing like that would ever happen and that everything would work perfect continuously forever. But that may not happen. And if I have any issues whatsoever, you'll be the first to know about it down in the comments section of YouTube. So you know there are spare parts in the packaging so that is pretty cool that they offered spare parts uh, even o-rings and everything gets one spare part which is really nice but this has been the hill gen gaming chair and i kind of like it it's pretty neat to have a vibrating lumbar for those long gaming sessions i really haven't noticed that on any other ones out there so decent touch the lumbar goes up and down via the straps through there on the back so I don't think it's gonna to wiggle too much out of the way of where you put it. And the only thing if I had to ding it on something, which really isn't a ding because all the gaming chairs 
don't do this, I don't think, is the arms raise up and down and go side to side and things of that nature like a traditional office chair. I would miss that a little bit, but lucky for me, my elbows hit a good point right there where my controller's up and uh, nothing's really too bad out of the way for me to get super duper comfortable, which is what you want for those long gaming sessions. The seat is super wide and deep, perfect for me at 5'11". So yeah, overall, I think this is a good deal. Head on over by the link, the Hill Gen Gaming link, which I'll leave down in the YouTube description. And uh, make sure to explode on that subscribe button. Ding that dong so you get notified whenever I come up with something sexy like a gaming chair like this one. See ya.